hello guys and welcome back so now in this video we will check if the player is on the surface or not so for that inside this player we will create an empty game object by the name of surface check it's not sure here it is surface okay and guys let's just actually put this whole player on the player layer so we will say player let's change this to player yes change children and then tag this with the player tag okay so now as you can see our surface check is on the player layer now what we will do on the player script right here at the top we will create another header and let's name this as uh, player jumping and velocity and here we will create a public transform and let's name this as why did I show this it is just surface okay so surface check we will name it and then before jumping we will make sure that we are on the surface or you can say on the ground okay then we want the player to jump so right here in the update at the top right there we will say on surface and basically this on surface will be our bool so let's just quickly create that at the top as well so on surface okay so if the on surface is true or you can say if yes the player is on the surface of the ground so for checking that we will say physics dot check sphere let me remove this mouse cursor so that you see the text okay so then you will say surface check dot position and then we will say surface distance so right here at the top let's say public first of all create a I think it's a layer mask okay so we will say layer mask and let's name this as surface mask and then we will create a public float and we will name this as surface distance and the default this will be equals to 0.4f and also at the top create a vector 3 by the name of velocity okay so you need these variables so now after the surface distance we will check the surface mask as well okay so this will make sure that the player is on the surface or you can say on the ground or not and then we will say if the own surface is true and the velocity dot y is less than zero plus zero then what we will do we will simply reset the velocity Okay, so we will set it to minus 2 and now let's add the jumping to our player so for doing that right here we will create a public float by the name of jump range and set this to 1f and if you notice right here we have the two same headers and basically 
this trunk cumulus to be the limit that from the earth and actually paste it down below okay so make sure that you create this jump range and this velocity and move these two from up here and now we can change this header to clear health things okay and for now we can just ignore that clear health thing okay just simply paste back there and comment this out because we are not dealing with the clear health for now so with this in place let me move this camera things right here okay you want everything in line first we will have the player movement then the player health then the player script cameras and then we want the gravity and the velocity jumping things at the end okay you can just align this however you want but i just want a clean code so that's why i'm doing this and this is the best way to kind of sort out the variables okay so in the player animator and gravity what we will do we will create a public float by the name of gravity now and as you can see the gravity will be minus 9.81 f this is the gravity value okay and uh, okay we will just click back and go now so now we have the gravity now let's simply add the jumping so in order to make the player jump we need to check if the player is on the surface or the ground and we did that right here as you can see now we will simply create a jump function so for that we will say void jump okay and in here we will say if we press the jump button okay or you can say the space button I can show it to you in the unity go inside the project settings and in the input manager as you can see we have a default jump button which is right, right here this one. so this is by default set to the space button okay of the keyboard and we have some other buttons right here okay here is the jump and then we have the 51 52 53 okay these are for the different controllers so we want the jump button to be pressed so we will say right here if input dot get button down and that button is the jump button and also we want to check if the player is on the surface okay we don't want the player to jump in the air okay because that will be just just out of this world because it didn't work in our planet okay <laughs> let's just leave that okay so if we press the jump button then we want to make the player jump so for that we will say velocity dot y will be equals to map f dot square root and we will take the square root of the jump range we will multiply that by minus 2 and then we will multiply that by the gravity and as you know that math f dot square root is used to calculate the square root of a specific single or float data type so this will just simply lift the player in the air guys you can set the jump range to whatever you want or in fact i will just set this to 1f and i guess this will be for the jump function now right here in the update right here type gravity we will apply gravity right here to player so we say velocity 
dot y and we will plus n equals that to the gravity and then we will multiply it by the time dot delta time and after this the character controller dot move and here we will pass the velocity and multiply that by time dot delta time and after this we will simply call the jump functions so, as you know we do everything in a neat and clear way so after the clear move then we will call the jump function so we will say jump okay with this done we can just save this and get back to unity now if we click on the player and you can see we have now different variables right here we need to assign things to that so first of all let's mm, click on this surface check and we want to move this surface check to right here to the foot of the player okay because the surface is right there okay now click on the player let's assign the surface check and that way we don't have the layer mask for the surface so right here if we click on add layer let's add a surface layer okay click on the player let's just run the surface layer here and don't touch the game for now because we want to change the walkable area for the player to the surface tab ok so you can just simply select all of the walkable area like this ok select all of them like this ok so select Wherever you want the player to be moved, you can select your terrain or if you have roads or if you have any kind of surface or ground, then you can select that all and simply click on this layer and change it to surface, okay? And click on yes, change children. Now it is changed. Now let me focus on the player again. Now as you can see we have everything assigned right here let's click on this let me move this to the ground okay. and also let's select all of the local area again then click on this navigation let's Change the step height to zero now and paint it. Okay, and let me focus it from here. Now, if we simply play the game, and as you can see, we can walk. And now, if we click on this space button, as you can see, now it jumps. And then it come back to the ground again as you can see and as you can see the slope it makes it really realistic that it is actually walking up to this high place as you can see here if we come to this point as you can see it just climb up on that slope as you can see but once we edit the animation, this one looks even more good. Okay. With our jumping done, see you guys in the next video.